What's up everybody, Direct back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released a newsletter not too long ago. The name of this newsletter is called AI Logic Suspects Interactions and Hotel. Let's start off with the introduction here. Hello squad mates. Squad mates? Are we playing squad? We like call it something else like SWAT mates or uh, uh, hello officers. Just a thought. Anyways, it's time for another Ready or Not bi-weekly newsletter. Last time around we took a look at the AR-180 in our squad team view. If you guys missed that video, I will have a link to it at the top right on the eye icon. In this edition, we will be covering the AI interacts in its environment, suspect logic, and a look at what you can expect from a hotel. Neat. That's a neat little summary that they have here. So they start off with hotel here. The call comes in. Shots fired. Unidentified number of suspects. A lot of civilians. Some dead. Some wounded. Hostages? Smoke spreading. Power could be out. No time to waste. You suit up on the way there. Go over the layout. Memorize what you can. Entrances. Exits. Stairwells. Too many to cover. The perimeter is set up by the time your team arrives. Stack up. Take a deep Deep breath lives are on the line bring order to chaos so hotel was a pretty big map and i think that they're going to be adding on to it with this next update if i remember correctly there was like white supremacist groups that are like on the upper levels of the hotel and then the cartels that are basically all at the base of the of the hotel like i don't think they fully explain what's going on there but from what i understand it's basically like the two factions are having a war and you're basically going in there to break it up and arrest everybody i think that's basically the gist of it yeah for those of you that don't know uh hotel has a thing where you're actually like getting getting out of a freaking vehicle. They actually showed off in the trailer. If I remember to put the trailer in here, I'll, uh, I'll put it in there. But I'm really curious to know what the new version of Hotel looks like because the OG one was pretty big and had a lot of freaking places to go into. So yeah, they have a picture here showing off the little bar area that's featured in the hotel. You got a cartel guy off to the left there shooting at you, a civilian in the middle there cowering in fear. And this character, I believe, is holding a HK416, if I'm not mistaken, with the hollow sight of some kind. Underneath the picture, it says sparks fly and muzzle flashes light up up the bar watch your fire every room and encounter in ready or not is defined by a series of decisions that the player makes did you check for traps or someone waiting on the other side what's your entry method are you picking the lock or breaking down the door how is your team going to clear the room ah uh, very good questions indeed my good sir each of the questions above have to be asked whenever you approach a situation preparation and contingencies are important if something doesn't go according to plan you're responsible for what follows jeez way to be blunt about it but anyways up next it shows a picture of him holding the exact same weapon while shooting at a guy down the hall in what looks like a hotel room. There sure is a lot of smoke on that guy right there. Did you like smoke him out first or is that just uh, the bullets that are doing that? Curious. Oh, I might actually answer my question down below. Here it says, smoke and debris obscure a suspect as he engages the officer. So I wonder what the smoke and debris actually came from. Was that just because of bullets or did he accidentally break something or what? All these questions and no answers. This would be so much better if it was a gif so I could see where the freaking smoke came from. Oh well. Moving on to the next thing here. We got hotel's complex layout and the number of civilians within means that any firefight is a risky endeavor when transitioning from tight hallways to sprawling guest rooms. Be wary. But also remember that lethal force should function as a last resort. Now, for those of you that don't know, this game ain't about kill streaks. If you've never played the original Swap 4, in order for you to get really good points, you basically have to like kill nobody and try to arrest everybody as much as possible. Like, you're not there to kill people, you're there to nab everybody and put them in the slammer, if you know what I'm saying. Then again, I always see that freaking meme, uh, I play for violence or whatever the hell it is so whatever all right moving on to the next thing here it says ai logic and suspect interactions the last time we talked about red or not's ai we showcased how they investigated disturbances a door left open is a source to explore and distant gunshots will put suspects on alert in this newsletter we wanted to further explore how the ai engages with the level and the routines and then it shows a picture of something that we've seen in one of the previous updates except it was in a gif form i believe if i remember correctly i wish they would explain like what all of these mean like there should be like a freaking panel out to the side here that explains what this character is doing at this point in time because i don't understand what this means but it looks like a whole lot is going on here underneath the picture it says these nodes indicate waypoints interactable objects in the environment lighting sources and more that's cool and all but i kind of wish that i could see what the hell all of this meant because at the moment this just kind of looks like a freaking mess to me like i need a book of idiots guide to follow all this what the hell's going on it'd be nice if they could like label what everything does so that way i could get a better understanding but uh yeah let's move on here just like the player each each action taken by the AI is prefaced by a series of actions and reactions. Each level of the game will be curated and created by our level designers, game designers and programmers with these points in mind in order to allow suspects to respond in a variety of different ways. How would you approach their position and how you've handled 
other suspects in the area factors into their alertness and capabilities. Interesting. What do they mean by capabilities? Like, now they're gonna be able to, like, hop over shit or what? Hmm, who knows? Right now, this is a lot of, like, talk the talk, but there's not a whole lot of walk the walk. They'll talk about all this cool stuff that they're doing, but they won't show off a whole lot of it in action, which obviously has me a bit concerned, but I get it, you know? AI is something that's not easy to do. It's very hard for indie studios and even triple a studios to get right so i can definitely kind of understand why they don't decide to like show it off immediately but i'm very curious to know what it's gonna look like as soon as it's actually done with i just really hope it's not gonna be janky because i'm just getting sick and tired of that type of ai at this point but anyways our ai have been designed to for example execute activities based on defined stimuli in most cases this refers to seeing the player and responding to what they do this stimuli reaction design allows us to modify these reactions to be as prohibitors. A civilian might refuse arrest due to a past player's action, or a suspect might have an ability or piece of equipment that protects him from the effects of a flashbang. Behaviors such as these are a core component to the ready or not experience and can be applied to each AI individually in the world. By design, this is a curated experience that evolves into dynamic gameplay through player involvement. This keeps the player on their toes to help drive their own decisions and how best to approach suspects. Interesting. So basically Basically, it's kind of like how whenever we're playing like a squad game or something, like you're reacting to the enemy. If you realize that they're flanking you to your left, you know, you, you decide to shift the squad to the left so that we can, you know, cut them off. So the AI is basically going to react to what you're doing. So that's kind of cool. But again, I would really like to see this in action because I don't know how effective this is really going to be. And again, this is like more talk to talk, but not showing the walk to walk kind of phase here. But it definitely sounds interesting, at least the way that they're describing it. So I'm looking forward to that, at least. Hope they'll be able to give us an update or show it off sooner than usual so that we can really dig into it but uh yeah here's their conclusion with that we've reached the end of volume 12 of our supporter development update a deeper look at how the ai interacts with the world around it and some action shots of the hotel and that pretty much does it for the update it seems like it was another short one but i mean at least they gave us a quite a bit of stuff there I'm very curious to see how the ai actually works in this game and i'm still wondering when the hell we're gonna get that update come on now just give it to me give it to me but yeah what are your thoughts what are your thoughts about the hotel map is it a map that you're definitely going gonna explore left and right up and down side to side do you actually think that the ai is gonna be as good as they're telling us or is it just gonna be as janky as every other game that you freaking played let me know what you think down below because i'm gonna end it here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like ready or not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel stick around i cover a lot of tactical games if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon to send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one bye bye